Hockey Parenting 101 video. Today's video I'm going to talk about the importance of practice versus game experience. I know in a previous video I talked about the proper utilization of practice ice that your coach is, is, is optimizing the amount of time the kids are out there actually moving around and, and less time, you know, minimizing the amount of time that the kids are standing around because ice time is precious, ice time is expensive, and it's limited especially in larger associations where there's quite a few teams. You're only getting a certain amount of ice time, hopefully a couple times a week you're practicing at least. Some, some you only get one a week, so utilizing that ice time is important. <clears throat> this video is about making it clear to you and your, your youth players that the importance of them utilizing the practice ice to the best of their ability and optimizing it to the best of their ability and making sure that they're getting to the practice because Practice is much more important in games in, in terms of your youth players overall skill development games are good for uh, games are good for You know uh, Talking about when you're talking about competition and competing yeah, competing. That's what I was trying to think about You know giving your kids an opportunity to compete a little bit harder. They might not want to go as hard against their own teammates they don't want you know they're worried about maybe stepping it up a notch against their teammates which you shouldn't really because you got all that gear on as long as you're not being dirty uh, that's part of the game is getting knocked down but you know that that sense of working hard and, and competing games are important you know you want to compete uh, as best you can but practices it's really that's that's where the skill development happens because when you're playing games your kids out of a say a youth game is say 12 to 15 minutes roughly so let's just say for example 15 minute periods that's on the high end especially for as a younger younger players it might be 12 minutes so say 12 minutes so you get a 36 minute game so you got full <clears throat> full bench so you got three forward lines two to three defensive pairings if you're playing forward you're getting a third of that, right? So you may be getting 12 minutes of ice time. And then how much puck time are you really getting when you're on the ice? So there's not a lot of time to develop skills out there. It's more for competing and, and working hard and, and uh, you know, translating all that hard work and practice over to games and hopefully competing and, and maybe ultimately winning or at least, at least having good games. Um, I'm going to talk about this. There's this how to hockey website. Well, it's called howtohockey.com. If you haven't heard about it, they got some great videos, a lot of good videos on on helping your kids develop. And this article in particular that they talk they talk about hockey practice versus hockey games. Uh, and and uh, <clears throat> they say here, if you read, one of the biggest issues surrounding the development of hockey players is the number of practices they have compared to the number of games they play. An ideal realistic ratio is two practices for every one game. I said that earlier. Hopefully you're practicing twice a week and you have one, maybe two games on the weekend. As they get older, maybe a few more games, but at the younger ages, definitely before U10 and below, no more than one game probably. I mean, it says here 7 to 13. My daughter on her team, she's playing two games a weekend typically. Um... So, you know, really they're saying are games really necessary? Uh, and below, here's some, here's some stats that they, they reference. Um, it also says here, keep in mind that your children can practice hockey almost anywhere. I'll get, I'll get, I have a follow-up video here soon talking about dry lands and, and the things you can do on, on land uh, or out, in, out on the street outdoor rinks if you have that luxury when it's uh, winter time anyway so back to the back to the lesson at hand uh, practice by the numbers here's some following facts and figures related to a 60 minute practice session so I don't know where they're getting these but I, I believe I believe what they're saying here because the, the years of experience I have but one efficient practice will give a player more skill development than 11 games collectively. That's just because of the amount of time they're actually on the ice skating. 
you know, you're looking for, ideally, each player should have puck on his or her stick 8 to 12 minutes in a practice. Each player should minimum 30 shots on goal. That's, that's tough, uh, especially if you're just working on skating drills. Uh, that's why the importance of dry lands and getting your kid a, a street stick and a ball or, or a street puck and a net. Because, you know, you don't want to waste a whole lot of ice time just have them stand around shooting. Um, uh, so this just talks about the different drills. Just trying to maximize ice time. I guess I should have referenced this uh, when I did my last video. But um, it just talks about just the importance of keeping the kids moving on the ice. But here's some hockey game by the numbers. The following statistics were recorded during a 60-minute peewee level hockey game. So uh, you, you 12 and below. Players will have the puck on their stick for an average of 8 seconds per game. 8 seconds, if you think about that. That's playing a game. Your kid on the ice, may, touching the puck for just eight seconds. So, those who say that games are more important, that doesn't like argue that number. Players take an average of one to two shots per game, and 99% uh, of the feedback coaches give players is when they have the puck. Ironically, players only have the puck on their stick for 0.2% of the game. So, where's the skill development? At? Where's the coaching at? There, there's hardly any. If they're not on the puck, they're probably not getting a whole lot of feedback. They, hopefully they are. Hopefully you have enough coaches on the bench that are paying attention during the games where, where they're at when they don't have the puck. Because that's that's just as important, their positioning, uh, when, when, when they don't have the puck. And what they're doing when they don't have the puck. So, bottom line, one efficient practice will give a player more skill development than 11 games collectively. I know they don't go into detail in the data, but I, it's, it just, I believe it. It's another eye test. It makes more sense that the kids are going to develop more in practice during games. So, hopefully your teams are not playing 40 games a year and only practicing once a week. I'm, I'm hoping that's not the way the ratio is. I'm hoping the kids, kids are getting two practices a week and then... <clears throat> playing one maybe two games on a weekend not counting tournaments but I think the ideal ratio for kids at the peewee what the I would say at the squirt and below is maybe 20 25 games a year maybe as you get into peewee you get 35 games uh, but that's even high like there's high school the uh, the elite high school programs are not I know in Wisconsin are, we're not allowed to have more than 20 some games a year which is, you're like, what? That's crazy, because my son's club team was playing 60 games a year, which by the end of that, he was burnt out. But um, I digress. So anyway, youth parents, it's important that your kids show up to practice and are ready to practice and don't screw around and practice. Utilize that practice time effectively, because that's where your kids are going to learn the most and, and improve the most as hockey players. I think that's all I got for this video. Appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you have any ideas for future videos, please let me know. I'll add them, add them to my repertoire and uh, get, them, get them in for you. Um, all that said, uh, Crisis the End, signing off.